uh, issue of the importation of Cuban doctors, petition against the a Cuban doctor's um, importation. The petitioner has objected uh, that uh, ha has objected the importation of the Cuban doctors and all the other foreign medical practitioners um, uh, being issued with licenses and work permits by the third respondent on representation of facts that there exist no doctors in Kenya that can fill in the position now being allocated to the Cuban doctors unless this honorable court, uh, and of course this is uh, that particular petition, um, and I'm quoting, they're saying that uh, by issuing prayers one, two, and three of the accompanying notice of a motion, uh, they were likely to issue practice licenses to the Cuban doctors either on the 31st of May 2018 or soon thereafter, uh, the detriment of the medical stakeholder practitioners in Kenya. I want us to now take a look at what... Uh, uh, Professor Kiyama Wangai, who is representing the petitioner, Dr. Misango, um, uh, who spoke earlier to our medical correspondent, Dr. Masi Korir, decrying the unfair remuneration and treatment of local doctors. Let's take a look at that. The main issue that my client has is the kind of discrimination that is being visited to the local doctors as opposed to the Cuban doctors. And the case is also not just about Cuban doctors, it's about foreigners coming to work in this jurisdiction. The main issue that also sticks out is this. There are doctors who are not employed. As you go out to source for doctors in, in another country, we have doctors who can take up those jobs. The Constitution protects the rights of Kenyans to have a job and protects the Kenyan doctors. That really is the philosophy of this case, that the Kenyan doctors require to be given that opportunity. And why do we say this? There are no advertisements for these 100 positions. So that if you advertise these positions and you lack local doctors, then using the Immigration Act, you can then source for doctors outside. But that advertisement, I have not seen it. The second thing is this. The kind of uh, remuneration these Cuban doctors are getting is five times more than the local doctors. If you say you're paying them 800,000 shillings, our highly paid specialists, 150,000, and these are doctors we have trained. What is so special about these foreigners getting five times the money of our local doctors? The third thing is this, uh, apart from the remuneration, the condition of working for the Cubans is far better than the Kenyans. I have seen in circulation some memo saying that uh, counties are putting aside half a million to prepare housing for these Cuban doctors. Our doctors do not get that when they report to those counties. So in fact, on the bare minimum, we are saying if the government has realized that doctors require these 500,000, they should give to all local doctors. The discrimination is when you treat some people differently from others. So we, our main prayer is that we need the process stopped so that the local doctors can get these jobs. And if there are still jobs that are left, then they can be given to the foreigners. Right, I want us now to take a short break. We still have a lot more lander for you here on KTN News Desk. Don't go too far. This is KTN News.